In today's video, we will see how we can perform a filtering in Excel using UiPath. The first thing that we will do is create a project in UiPath. We will open the Excel application scope because we are going to work with Excel. We will select the source file, which we are going to do the filtering. Read range or read the data in the Excel file. And we will create a data table. This data table is written into a variable using control plus K and we will name the variable. Next, we will filter the data using the criteria that we need. And finally, we will write the new data into an Excel file. Or we can write it into the same Excel file into a new sheet. These are the things that we are going to do today. We are going to open an Excel file with the student comments in it. These are the comments that I have. I have the comment codes in the first column, the comment number in the second one, the actual comments, and finally I've added a column called group or levels so that I can sort them based on the levels. I just randomly numbered them. So I just want to show how I can sort. Today we're going to actually sort out only the level one comments so that we can use it. It can be applied for any kind of filtering. So that's the objective and we are going to use UiPath for it. Let's get started in my UiPath folder. So Okay, so what I'm really going to do is I'm going to create, I'm going to create a new workflow in the same folder. Let's call it filtering comments. It's going to be created in the same folder. Close the main one. And so I have the filtering comments here. We will open that up we have it over here the first thing we're going to do is we're going to enable the excel application or oh, i have to go to activities application scope drag and drop it because all my workflow activities are going to be done in excel so Excel application scope has been opened. I have to point the location to the location of the Excel file. I have the science comments here. I've selected it. And you see the a little red icon go away, which shows the error. The next thing I want to do is I want to read the file. So I'm going to use read range. So you're going to read the Excel range. So if you go to the Excel file that I actually have with the data in it, the files or the information is available in sheet two and there are four columns in it. So I'm going to select sheet two in the read range. I have to reach the read the sheet two and i also want to read all the information on it so i'm not putting any uh, limitation here once i have that once it reads the excel file which is over here we're going to create a data table in uipath and that has to be written on to a data table and we're going to create a variable for that we will use control plus K. Output will be into a, a 
data table and the variable is going to be called data table for comments we have created that we have created a data table for comments next we will filter the data table so we will go add an activity for filtering we will filter the data table and the data table that we are going to filter is the one that we just created so that would be dt comments we have that we want to filter that and if you go to the excel file you know that there are four columns we're going to filter it based on level then i only want level one level one is in the d column or is in the third column this is zero one two and three okay so that's the information we have there so going into the keep or remove matching items we're going to keep the columns okay the columns that have column if it's equal to l1 l1 uh, we have to put it in quotes we will keep it if not we will remove it okay so we have selected the rows that we want to read and if it has a value of l1 we will keep it click ok we have done the selection and we're going to write it into the same data table we're going to write it into the same data table after filtering and then once we have actually created the new data table with filtering which has been overwritten after filtering we will write range we have to write these write the data in the data table so we have excel the write range we are going to do that and when we are going to write it what i've done is I've created a third sheet. You don't have to. It will create by itself. Just give the sheet name. But I have actually uh, formatted the third sheet. So I'm going to write into sheet three. And it's going into the second A2 column. That's where it is going. So sheet three. A2. So we're going to write in the same data table into sheet three and the information is coming from data table comments. Enter and our workflow is ready. OK, let's see what happens when we run the workflow. Let's save it. And before that, let me close the Excel file. There is nothing in this Excel file right now. This is the data that we're going to filter and write it into this one. So I'm going to close the file. That's a requirement. Okay, that's it. So I'm just going to run the file right now. Yep, the whole process is run. Let's see, let's look at the output. File filter comments execution started. Filter comments execution ended. It took about nine seconds to complete the process. Let's go to the folder where we have the Excel file. Open it. So this is sheet three. We never had any information on the sheet. And if you look on the D column or third column, the level, they're all L1. So we have separated the sheets, 
separated the comments based on the levels that's what we wanted and we are we have been successful in filtering the excel data and writing it into a new sheet we can also write it into a new file that's also a possibility once again the steps that we have taken uh, we have created a sequence into which we added excel application scope we pointed the excel file by clicking on the folder icon and selecting the source excel file we did a read range we read the file and we wrote it into a variable which is coming under output and we called it data comments our data table comments and this data table that we have has been filtered here and we have filtered it under certain conditions we will look under configure filter we looked at the third column and if it was equal to l1 l1 was written in brackets then we were going to keep it if not we were going to remove it clicked ok and then we did the right range uh, into the sheet into sheet number three uh, using the same data from data table comments okay that's what we had to do and then we did run the whole program and it did execute it successfully and we have got the final uh, excel sheet that we obtained by filtering the information